Oh, so the, the Mr. Charlie, one of the unique things about it right now as a museum, is the only place in the world where the general public can come aboard an offshore drill and rig. The men and women can come here to do their training in formal classrooms, then they can go outside and apply what they're learning. Uh, then they can live here and uh, see if this is a lifestyle they want along with the working conditions. Good afternoon, my name is Virgil Allen and I've uh, been a resident of Morgan City for the last 62 years. Well, I became affiliated with the, uh, the rig, the Mr. Charlie, uh, back in 1992. Uh, and at that time, the company Otico was looking to uh, find a home for the rig because uh, it had outlasted and outused its life offshore. The original construction of Mr. Charlie was one purpose, to build a drilling rig that was movable uh, and uh, reusable. And so it uh, was built in 1953 and went to work in 1954. It is a piece of history. And uh, the rig today is here as a, a museum, uh, giving guided tours of the rig uh, with explanations of the, the rig itself and of the industry. And it's also a hands-on liveaboard training facility. Well, when the original concept of the Mr. Charlie came up with uh, Doc Laborde, and he went looking for someone who would believe his idea enough to put money up. And he found that with uh, Murphy Oil in El Dorado, Arkansas. And the founder of Murphy Oil is uh, Charles Murphy Sr. And so his son, Charles Murphy Jr., who was running the company at the time and negotiating with Doc Laborde, built this rig and then named it after his dad, who everybody in El Dorado knew as Mr. Charlie. Uh, the Mr. Charlie was only good for 40 feet of water depth. Uh, so it had kind of outlived its use. And uh, so they were looking, and they had talked to other museums, uh, Otico did, in order to see if the Mr. Charlie could find a home somewhere. The Smithsonian and other museums like that turned it down because it's just a big piece of equipment. So we formed a nonprofit corporation in 1993, uh, which is the International Petroleum Museum and Exposition, Inc. And from that, purchased the rig and opened up for tours uh, Labor Day weekend of 1995 and have been open doing tours ever since. Mm -hmm.